wanted to hop on and do a quick video. I am exhausted because I'm moving today and I'm doing starting the trail um, in two days. But I wanted to um, kind of show you my house as I am just getting it cleaned up. It it's all the furniture is gone and it's still a little messy, but I'm, I'm spending the next hour or so cleaning up my house and I wanted to just take you along and show you the house. Um, this is going to be a quick, simple video, but I just wanted to let you in on this journey and, um, share with you this amazing house that I've gotten to call home for the past three years. And I'm just, oh, it's very bittersweet because I love this house. Um, but the real estate market is crazy good and it's a five bedroom house. I've actually been living with four roommates to help me pay the mortgage. Um, and now I'm, they've all moved out and the real estate market was amazing. Um, and I just thought I don't need a five bedroom house by myself. I want to downgrade. I want to hike the trail, maybe want to move. So Everything's loaded loaded up into a U-Haul. My dad just took off and he's going to be loading my stuff into a storage unit. I'm going to help him when I get there. But for now, let's go look at my house. Here's the outside of my house. <sighs> I have loved it. I'm going to be so sad. I'm going to miss this place so much. It's my cutie little porch. and take you inside. All right, here is our living room that right now is totally empty and bare, but this used to have a really pretty rug and floor seating with pillows um, and a little fake fireplace over in the corner. And then to the right is like a closet and then over here is my room, which looks super empty. But this is my room. Very bare. Um, this is my closet. What was my closet? I had a walk-in closet. It was just so nice. Haven't had that since I was a little kid. And I have, uh, I just have the best view outside and Every morning I would open the window and listen to the birds chirp. It's just beautiful. Yeah. Um, my bathroom, which I'm <laughs> super messy. I had painted uh, little swatches on the wall. So I just, you could see they're drying. So I had to repaint that, but this was my bathroom. Um, hello. I had to stop this video here to explain what happened. My super sweet neighbor came over to say goodbye. So the next video is of them in their house telling me goodbye and I will miss them so much. Hi, Ed. Hi, Hi Nell. Bye. Oh, I'm gonna miss you guys. I miss you so much. We don't oh. like you moving though, I tell you, we don't like it. I don't like it either. Sorry about that. I My neighbor came over to say goodbye and then she invited me over and gave me a Coke and snacks for the ride, the ride home. She had made some pie. Actually, it was pound cake and she brought me a piece and so I'm gonna have that for the way home. Um, but back to the tour. This has just been, honestly, this is this could not be a more perfect neighborhood I'm a perfect home <sighs> just seeing my neighbor even made me realize that even more all right so let's go back to the house I think I had shown you oops I think I had shown you guys my bedroom and I think I believe I was showing you guys the bathroom oh yeah and where I had painted um over some swatches on the wall and this is my bathroom. It's got a cool window. And then it's got this closet. Oh, I've got stuff in there. <laughs> and then, yeah, there's my, my shelves, my lights, 
All right. There's the front living room. And then this is a little hallway closet that I had crystal and things in. Um, and then this is the big living room. And I just love these ceilings, the beams. And we just painted in October. It's March now, so. Um, that is like a, where we had our dining room table and then we had a coffee bar there. Um, this is the outside, the deck, which is absolutely stunning. Oh, it's kind of a gloomy day, but you can see, so this is Lake Lanier. Um, and typically when the sun sets, you can see just this beautiful sunset over there. And then we have a tree house and there is a walkway that leads all the way down to the lake and all of our neighbors let us use their docks which is so nice but this was like our saving grace during covid because we had a table and we would come out here every night for sunset um and then at one point i had put my tent up <laughs> over here and i slept outside so that was super fun but yeah here's my actually you can come over here and see the fire pit um that's my neighbor comarine and john over there their house sometimes we'll have conversations over the fence dining room coffee bar this is a two-car garage i'll do the rest of the house kind of fast sorry if i'm making you dizzy kitchen Here's our kitchen. That is Ed and Nell's house who I just went over to see. Um, I have been so obsessed with this refrigerator because it opens and you can open and get your drinks out. But that's staying with the house. Here is our pantry. It's like a massive pantry and it had five shelves, which is perfect for five roommates. And our refrigerator had five shelves, which is perfect for five roommates. Um, so you saw my bedroom and then this is a little hallway, it's a little, cute little closet. Um, this is the second bedroom, which I actually still need to clean some stuff out of here. Um, then there's the hallway bathroom, which I actually think this is the best bathroom of the house, but yep, there it is. Super cute. Hi. <laughs> okay, and then this is the third bedroom upstairs. Um, it's the corner bedroom and two closets. It has a view, same view as outside. The leg, the tree house, everything. It's a woods view. And right, then we're gonna go downstairs. Back to the front living room, the back living room, the dining room, and then down these stairs. To there's like some shelves on the side here, and then this is the fourth bedroom. Um, it has a little tiny closet in there. Let's open it. And then it has, huh, we call this the dungeon. Dun, dun, dun. It's like where the, whoo, spooky by there. Um, <laughs> that's where like the, whatever that is, a heater thing. Okay. So this is a downstairs bathroom. Not the prettiest, but hey, it works. Shower, toilet, all that good stuff. Okay, we go to the, this is the last bedroom, which I actually really like this bedroom, even though it's really, it's pretty small, but it has a window, it has a little closet, and it has a door that you can just walk straight to the outside. 
feels like it's about to rain. Um, and it has a downstairs patio as well. So that's a little walkway down to the lake. You just follow it around. And then there's my neighbor's house, Comarine and John. Okay. Home. It's like very sad to walk through this house. And then this is the downstairs living room. It has three living rooms. Uh, at one point I had rented this out on Airbnb. Just the downstairs. It's these really big windows and door. It's actually a door. Um, this is where I had Kindred, a Kindred studio workshop. So I have a few things. Yeah, I have a ton of, those are just like empty boxes that we have to get rid of, but that also has a door to the outside and then window that looks at Ed and Nell's house. Still some shelving that needs to go, but this is where if you ever ordered anything from Kindred, I would have shipped it from this room. <sighs> Turn off the lights for the last time. Oh, so sad. And then this is like a utility storage room that has a washer and dryer that's staying with the house, but it has tons of storage. So I'm gonna go turn off the lights for the last time down here too. So sad. All right. Um, but that is, yeah, that's my house. It is, it's so surreal um to be moving i'm just i'm actually so sad this house has been such a huge blessing i can't even tell you it was like a major god story when we bought this house um i wasn't really planning on buying a house and some things happened that were super uh heartbreaking and sad and I went through a very hard time um with my housing situation and I ended up buying this house renting out for the bedrooms um and living here for three years and so now I have to let it go it's probably the last time I'm going to be in it um so I just wanted to share that with you guys and I love you I love that Nell popped in and surprised me and you guys got to meet my neighbors because that's really what makes this neighborhood and this house so special. Um, thanks for watching this. I really, I'm just so sad. Um, but I'm very happy because I know that selling this house means that I get to get on the Appalachian Trail in two days. So I'm going to start shooting videos. Um, we're about... We'll be a couple weeks behind where I'm actually at. So when you're watching a video, just know that I'm, I'm a little bit farther ahead. Um, but I have someone awesome who's helping me edit videos. Um, her name's Bethany. So I will be doing videos from the trail. And I'll see you out there. Bye. Bye.